Let me show you how to change a color in Canva. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look for some inspiration. And I went to the website that's called Coolers. It's C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot co. And you can look at different color palettes there. So I went to tools and then explore palettes. And they're literally like millions of color palettes for you. There might be just that one color that you're looking for. Here's a great place to find it. Um, and when you hover over that color that you're looking for, you'll see that this number pops up and this is the hex code color. So this is like a code um, for a certain color. This is going to help you in Canva in one second. So right here, if you just click on it on this website, it copies it to the clipboard and then we can go over to Canva and add it here. So let's say we wanted to change this brown color to that. If you click on the brown color, this box pulls up and then you have this add a new color box. And if you command V or um, control V, that's gonna paste that in there. And then you'll see that that color is right there now. So that's one way to change a color. If you just wanna tweak it a little bit, you can move it around here in the color wheel um, and as you go across the top, you'll see it gets darker. And as you go across the top this way, it gets a little lighter. Um, but really, the sky's the limit there. So that's one way to find a color. Another way is, like, let's say that you're shopping online and you see a really cute um, color palette in an outfit or something that's been set up. So here I'm shopping online. I see something that looks like some fun colors, you can screenshot it. So I'm gonna do Command Shift 4 on my Mac. You can Google search how to do a screenshot pretty easily. I'm just gonna screenshot it. That's gonna save it to my downloads. And I can do this in Pinterest as well. So this is a fun color palette. Really anything you can find online, you can do this. So I'm gonna screenshot this. This could be a fun color palette. And then I'm going to bring it over into Canva. So here's my screenshot folder. And you can see that here are the two things that I did a screenshot of. With Canva open, you can just drag it anywhere into any document. And it will automatically upload it here. So you'll see there. And now I can just click on it and it adds it. Now I'm going to do it with the other one as well. I'm going to drag it. And now it's loading. And there you have it. So I'm going to go grab the circles from my style guide here. Just going to grab these top. I'm dragging my mouse over the top. I'm going to command C. And then I'm going to command V right here. So I have these um, circles of color so I can play around with the color here. All right. So now I'm going to use this to try to make a color palette off of that. And then I'm gonna copy these again and make a color palette here with these. So let me zoom in a little bit. Um, I can zoom in down here with the little um, slide bar here. All right, so I'm just looking at this and thinking about what colors are popping. Um, you might just want like one little tweak in your color palette. Um, and this is a fun way to find colors. So if you just hover over the top I went to this plus sign and I went to that eyedropper right there and now I can just hover over and do that. So, okay, so I clicked on the circle, clicked on the square, clicked on that plus sign, clicked on the eyedropper and now I'm finding that pink color. I'm do it again, I'm gonna go look for that blue. So plus sign, eyedropper, blue. And now I'm gonna look for, I'm gonna do that light blue and then I'm gonna do the yellow. And that should be plenty of color. Okay, and now let's do the yellow plus sign, eyedropper, yellow. If you do not see the eyedropper in your Canva account yet, that might mean that the update hasn't been made for you yet. So kind of keep checking back on that. Um, you can use the Coolers site um, for now and just get the hex codes right off of that. All right, so there's, um, we made a color palette off of this. And then here we would do the same thing with these colors. You can 
hover over anything and find, you know, especially when it's a photograph, you're just going to kind of play around with getting um, just the colors just right and what you're hoping for. You know, you can see it's a little pixelated as I hover over it, um, but that's getting pretty close. I do the same thing there. Let's go find that light green color, the sagey color, looking for kind of a light part of that. And I think we're pretty close here. I'm just going to do that um, black from this shirt. Okay, and even I could take that background color. That's a nice neutral color. And there. All right, so I've got a color palette there. So let's say you already have your color palette that you've been using. Um, let's go to my Instagram for a second. All right, so I have some of my Instagram templates up here, and I use this uh, red color here. And if I decided that wasn't popping quite enough, I could go find a color just like I showed you how to, and I could change it with one click, changing all of these templates to have that new red color. So let's go do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go here, click on it, you got that color. Let's say you found a new hex code color. You could click on that new hex code color and say change all. That's gonna change it across the whole document. So you can see that it's a lot brighter now. And that's how easy it is to change. So let me show you, we've got this style guide here that we're adjusting. You could go in here, make all those changes like we did below. You could bring this color palette up here, make those changes. You would just go through, click on this one, change it to this red, and then you would go in and change your hex code color here to whatever was in that red box. So, Change that there. So then you have an updated style guide once you've done this. And then um, you can take this color palette and go into like maybe you have a presentation um, template that you wanted to change. I'm gonna bring those circles over so I have those colors. That means that they're gonna show up in my color palette. You'll see those colors there. Now I can go in and change this blue by clicking on that and let's say I want to make it that bright red and then you can change all and you'll see that it changed the whole color palette so we've got that pop of red now I can go do that same thing with this copper this brown color I'm going to change it to the blue and then say change all and I can kind of check it by clicking down here so I can see it in grid view and already um, definitely it looks like a completely different presentation just by changing the colors. Um, all right, so have fun with your color palette. Let's make some little changes that are really gonna help your designs pop and we'll talk to you soon.